It is a Spokane treasure. If you say to a child, this is on the historic register, it doesn't make much impression. But if they see that they can ride it. When the carousel first opened in Riverfront Park, one of the first groups to ride it were the kids from the Hutton Settlement. And I think it's perfect that they get to be involved in the construction of the new building. It kind of brings everything full circle in a way. So the Hutton Settlement began as an orphanage in 1919. Um, our mission is still to care for kids, but the way we do that has changed as our society has changed. What we want to do is make sure that we provide them the experiences and the opportunities to find out where their passion is, where they feel their joy, so that we can help them develop that vision and the steps necessary to get there. So when Walker Construction approached us about giving our kids access to the construction of the Loof Carousel, we thought that was pretty cool because several of these kids have expressed their interest in construction, architecture, engineering. And this is a unique opportunity to see everything that goes into bringing a structure out of the ground. These big squares that you see, there's 12 of them all the way around, around this, and that's what's ultimately going to have a big concrete column that comes down and sits on top of that. Okay? And then that's what's going to hold up the entire roof structure of this part of the building right there. How heavy would you think these uh, squares would be? So these squares are... 10 foot right? 6 by 10 foot 6 by 2 foot 6 deep. Yeah, so they, contain, they contain 10 plus yards of concrete. That's about 40,000 pounds. Are you going to be using uh, marble pillars or stone pillars, cement pillars? They're what's called precast concrete. Uh, so Wednesday we've got our second day of column erection starting. We'll have probably the first three or four columns set, first three beams set, and then we're going to continue coming around around the outside of the, uh, the building footings, setting columns and setting beams. What we're going to do to get you guys started is we're going to get you outfitted with um, your high-vis safety vest, your hard hat, and safety glasses so you guys will be safe here on the site. You're looking at it, what do you think? I mean, it looks like just a big block of concrete, and there's so much more going on. There's electrical, there's drain pipes, there's sprinkler. All that is all cast inside those columns. Yeah. You see concrete pillars with wires going through them and the whole infrastructure. fascinated me was how precise they had to be with these columns. If they didn't get it in the exact spot, the whole project would have been off. It, nothing would have been lined up. It's just a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to be able like, see a structure go up that will change this city. Mm -hmm.